This is Peter with Arcade Parts and Repair. Um, I was basically going through some of the pot kits that we have here that we offer, and we make tons of different ones for different uh, um, component for different monitors and game boards and stuff like that. So um, we're going to use an Electro Home Geo 7 chassis and just show you uh, um, an easy way to get your pots all preset at that point, so you don't have so much extra work and effort uh, when you're doing this. So. What we're going to do is, is basically we're going to pull one of these pots out and actually show you how to do this. Um, this works with most um, most of the half watt and smaller pots. Um, the wiper leg here, uh, the, the wiper leg to the outside leg, whatever the reading is there, if this is a 5K pot, which it is, um, if I measure 3K on the wiper to this outside leg, I'm going to measure 2K on this side. So whatever I increase over here is going to decrease over here and vice versa. So that way, um, relative to your uh, pot value at that point. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually pull these out and actually show you. We'll just do a quick one to show you how to uh, go through these so that way you get less work. Monitors require a lot of extra work when you adjust these because your option then is to install them to like a mechanical center um, and then you have to adjust everything uh, when you turn it on. This way it'll set you up and be pretty close at that point. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and uh, measure this existing pot. So now if this is installed this way we're going to measure the left side. doesn't matter if you measure the left or the right. Um, it's just you have to do the same on the new pot, so that way you got the right setting at that point. So we're going to see what this originally was. So we're at 2.7K um, on that left side there on the old pot. So the same leg over here and the wiper we're at 5.1K. So we're going to actually um, turn that down and we're adjusting it down to the 2.7. And we don't have to be exact, but we're just going to put it 2.7K. So now when we install this into the chassis, um, it will basically already be set up fairly close. So all you have to do is kind of fine tune things. And you'll do that for every one of these. So then when you power it up, and if you're gonna do the neck board, which I've already done, um, you'll basically do the same thing there. Now these pots, the nice thing about these pots, I haven't seen any vendor that actually has for the GO7. They've got pots that look like this, but these we special ordered, so they have a 10 by 2.5 millimeter PCB spacing, which is the exact spacing on this PCB right here. Um, everybody else is using a 10 by 5, so you have to squeeze the leads together, which shorten them up, and then everything mounts tipping forward like this, because that lead is shortened up from having to be bent in, so it's kind of uh, nothing lines up straight at that point. So we went ahead and ordered the correct ones that fitted exactly. So this is just, like I say, just a quick thing where you just go through and you'll do every single one of these, the neck board, whatever pots you're replacing, whether it be a, um, a remote PCB, um, remote adjustment PCB or anything like that. All you have to do is just set them that same way and then uh, you'll just have fine little tuning instead of everything all out of whack and trying to adjust every single setting gets to be kind of labor intensive. So this will kind of speed things up for you when you're dealing with this. So when you put them in, preset them at that point. If you have no idea because the pot's broken or you're missing a pot or something like that, then yes, put it to the mechanical center and then you'll have to adjust it when it's actually powered up. But I hope this helps speed up some of your uh, uh, pot replacements and that can go with the uh, B plus pot on here, you know, or any different pots on that. You can always adjust them prior to installing them so you got less work uh, down the road to deal with. So I hope this helps out and like I say you can get these pot kits at our website um, at arcadepartsandrepair.com and we make all sorts of different pot kits for all this stuff. Have a good day.